Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Dale Chanel's 48th World where we get down with the celebrity gossip and entertainment news. Hey, I've been gone for a while and I had good reason. I lost my baby boy, my furry four-legged paw, a friend to the end, ride or die, Mr. Elijah Johnson. Yes, I lost him on the 9th of October, which was Saturday. He pretty much died of old age, but I kind of got lost um, for those several days, the day of his passing and um, some days after that. But I'm healing. Each day is a new day to get back to what I once was doing, which was living life. Because on that day, it seemed like everything stopped. And I wanted to get on the tube, but I just didn't actually have the tenacity or the forethought or the energy to even put forth a video. Even though I saw a, a lot of interesting news uh, on celebrities that I wanted to give my opinion on, but I just couldn't get to doing it at the time but i'm back i'm slowly getting back into the groove y'all continue to pray for me in a good way of course all right not my demise or anything like that because i wouldn't wish that on anybody else either but um i had to get back on the saddle ride the horse and make me some money okay i need that tax write off like my accountant said so we're going to move right on into this particular story. And I know it's old for some, but you didn't have my spin, my take, my expertise on what I thought about this situation. And I'm like, these are the last two women I would think would come for the Southern Bell. But that's none of my business. As loud as it's kept secret, I'm going to talk about it loudly and proudly. Okay. Now, why Shamari DeVoe? And Claudia Jordan called themselves one to attack the princess, Phaedra Park. I have no idea. I want to say they were swinging them cocktails before brunch time, if you know what I mean. Just get out of bed and just take you a swig or a shot or just drink the whole bottle. Why don't you? Okay. But these two girls, maybe they were having fun or whatnot, but they caused a scene on social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, whoever they were trying to get the energy out to about Miss Phaedra Paws and the Real Housewives of Atlanta going downhill. Well, I'm like, if my thoughts are serving me correctly, Shamari, you didn't help when you were on the show. They pretty much made you look like a drunk allegedly but what i was looking at on my screen when i was watching the real housewives of atlanta episodes on the season that you premiered on which i want to say it was season 11 or was it seven uh i think it was a season 11 because i think claudia was on season seven but i got information to depict whether i was right or wrong on that i'm like are y'all both uh antsy for money i mean claudia you on fox so and you know i tried to check that out a couple of times i didn't too much care for it okay it's almost like a has-been show where people trying to come up sort of like the dancing with the stars giving those um a listers that went to c and d listers a uh, chance to get back in like a what do you call it a lifeline to get back into the entertainment business and get exposed uh for more um I guess um, spotlights to let you know that they're still out there. They're still trying to do the thing. And this is the way they're coming back in the scene. Okay. The uh, entertainment field scene is what I'm saying. Uh, something like what Kenya Moore is doing. But she wasn't really a has been at the time. It's just getting kind of slow because she's been picking off people on the Real Housewives of Atlanta like it ain't nobody's business. Like we can't keep people in the building for her to get on. You know what I'm saying? For her to fetch that song for them to for her to show out on okay pretty much but um yeah shamari and uh claudia they really think they can uh revive the real housewives of atlanta which is kind of odd because when they both were on their prospective seasons uh or season on the show uh they weren't giving anything they made shamari pretty much look like a drunk uh a, w a woman that couldn't hold her liquor but loved to partake you know, on the wine, the spirits, and then Claudia, they just kind of made you look like a home wrecker. Like you wanted to cozy up to any other man that you possibly could, whether it was uh, the housewives, uh, castmates, has-beens, or um, 
current bows or whatever you just pretty much want to get in get in the mix of everything i mean you even tried to uh go mess with cardell stewart take pictures but you were castmates with um portia williams at the time and you know that's a no-no we don't go mess with people husbands even in the girl code we don't do that i mean we might have did it in high school or whatever but that's petty petty we didn't know no better we just trying to do what we wanted to do but when we get grown, we understand the uh, the dynamics of relationships and this, that, and the third. You tend to be more wiser. You don't be loose anymore. I mean, you know, acting like a a a, a garden too, starting with an H, ending with an E. We don't go out. We don't really act like that. And once we don't grown up, and I say twenty six on up. You know what I'm saying? Because you know when you're in your twenties, still mess around. You don't care. You just want to get your whole feel on. You want to live your best life. But that's what we think when we're young and acting dumb out there. Okay? Because we want to have all that fun. But we don't know how it can change a person's life and how it can make a person feel and this, that, and the third. But, yeah, I don't know what they were going to give or they thought they could give to boost the ratings when they didn't do too much building and, and, and pushing the ratings upward when they were on the show. But, you know, the sh uh, Shade Room had it. I'm getting mine uh, additional resource information from the Insider Voice. Okay, you want to check them out. Just Insider slash Voice. Um, come on now. Get off my, my screen. Dot com. And where you can get all your other celebrity related news you want to hear about your favorites out there but we're gonna go on into this particular article we ain't gonna waste no time uh it was written by gary miller the title was shamar devoe and claudia jordan suggest they could help boost the ratings on the real housewives of atlanta okay it says the next season of bravo's hit reality show real housewives of atlanta will be quite different with some major cast changes however two former cast members have suggested that they could be the ones driving the show's ratings now that some of the other women are not returning i'm like <laughs> i said the same thing prince lord have mercy these folks don't got delusional okay in their old age or their aging process of getting old yeah they must be hurting for some money or whatever i mean are they mad because are they big mad yes they are because stage got asked back to be on the ultimate girls trip with the other ogs okay hell nanny probably would have got back with him she wasn't going through her dilemma and her uh new way of living life now upon Greg's passing and stuff she probably would have been asked back herself and then again she if she wasn't acting such a fool trying to make everybody you know hunt in and, and boycott uh bravo and all that kind of thing you know she just would have went quietly into the sunset and got her money in the back end it just is what it is but you know sometimes you get too proud you think you you know you really own stuff when you were just a part of making history but you weren't like the one creating and, and, and putting the money up front and making things come to fruition. You know what I'm saying? You just on the bandwagon. But you really wasn't the creative head and had the finances to make it come to fruition. See, that's something some other people did. And they just invited Nene for the role. But then she, you know, she kind of got big head. And I understand how it is when you think and you've been told so many lovely things that you are the queen. You are the head, B.I.C. You know what I'm saying? P people were building her up so and then she had just attached to that stigma and it just rolled with her and she didn't know how to just you know come out the bushes come out the forest and look at things from a, a, a wider view a wider perspective you know what i'm saying she just got caught up in all the madness and people telling her she eat person you know it's kind of like comparing it to when you go in the entertainment business as artists and just say you're uh, a group you're singing and you're doing the whole thing and everybody loving you and then as you go along and, and you get a little bit more uh, experience on your build and w you're developing and, and you're maturing real well and the uh, music and your voice is getting all you know uh framed appropriately and sounding good and stuff like that they want somebody who's the lead singer to go s solo you know what i'm saying then once you're trying to go solo dolo because somebody been in your ear you messing up every day for the rest of the folks that came aboard from the beginning you know what i'm saying just causing havoc chaos and heartache 
So that's pretty much is when, you know, you get something started and it break out to be something fantastic. Everybody just get the big head. And they start to get, uh, gravitate to the one who really, uh, they feel the public is gravitating to. That, you know, they, they really like and stuff like that because of what they say, how they look, you know, how they present themselves, you know, you the it factor. So they stop concentrating on the rest of the cast and start concentrating on the, the few that are bringing in the real ratings because people are constantly talking about them and giving feedback or that one in particular person that has the best taglines the best you know shades and all this kind of stuff and they gravitate towards them so they tend to say okay you're doing something we want to compensate you and then they get the big head and just goes bigger and bigger bigger to it you need to bust it you know what i'm saying and that's pretty much what they did to nene but just going back to the article, because I do my sidebars, y'all know how I get down. All right, it says, early Monday morning, Shamar DeVoe and Claudia Jordan were on Instagram Live having a good old time while backstage at a show. While on the live broadcast, the topic of Real Housewives of Atlanta came up when Shamari commented on how beautiful Claudia is. I'm like, well, Shamari drunk at the time where she taking parts of drinking the spirits, okay? Because she kind of, you remember when she was, um, who was she laying on? It seemed like she wanted to eat their breasts or something god i can't think e not e lord eva she was sitting uh, next to eva on one of the episodes of real housewives of atlanta when they were over there trying to uh i don't know what they were doing over any house celebration or something maybe they just came together because they felt they needed to have a sisterhood bun thing going on i have no idea but claudia i mean um shamar had drunk too much and she was just trying to eat all over eva you know and eva was just like taking it in stride like okay yeah i i, I can go both ways allegedly or oh, i've been both ways allegedly and uh you know what you know i'm just trying to i'm tripping off of her tripping off me that's pretty much what i got that uh eva was trying to say about shamari's uh disturbing antics she was giving us on film okay but she you know she you know reading from the article said she said claudia was beautiful meaning shamari okay they both laughed when she said we're like real housewives of atlanta baby 2.0 i said no baby you like negative 2.0 okay because bravo let y'all have y'all one season how many episodes and then the ratings just didn't look good for you all you all weren't a good fit believe it or not claudia was a troublemaker a loud mouth and she just got too much into the ladies men's current men's past men's and probably future men's and uh shamari like i said they pretty much uh took you and saw you as a drunk so why oh why would you come for southern bell slick mouth phasial pogs okay who got it going on yes yeah, she's a matrician yes yeah, she's a lawyer don't matter what you want to say uh, about her case wins is irrelevant if you want to pay your coin and let her represent you then let it be as it is okay no harm no foul now i can tell you for a fact the morticians be getting paid whether you're doing animal funerals human funerals it don't matter green is always the same because i know i had to pay for my baby son who just passed on me 187 dollars yes to get him cremated guys not him not he didn't get euthanized the lord took him because that's what i wanted him to do was to take him and i didn't have to put him to sleep but just 187 dollars for an urn and for him to get uh, uh toasted up in the oven i guess you would say and make his bones ashes okay you see what i'm saying that's what and if it's 187 for a puppy what do you think about a human being girl they getting paid so i don't know what claudia you talking about while she's sitting up on um fox soul and she got her own little private podcast she doing that ain't making that much money girl especially you know danger she right you need all your haters on you because your haters make you motivated okay and then it brings more blessings to you nothing for the haters okay but anyway they got to get themselves right. But I'm like, girl, why are they coming for Fei Fei? Don't they know Fei Fei may get back on this show? Especially if Canada do well in other endeavors. And they really want to, because, you know, they're trying to slide. Whether Canada know or not, they're trying to slide her back in on a, on a, on a side on the sly side they put her over there on the ultimate girls trip hoping candy will see her way on out the door where they won't have to throw her out but see candy birds is the one you're gonna have to throw out because they gonna hold on that bone of a meat of their bread and butter until you let it go till you cut it off you know around their fingers 
cried off their hands and, and take it from them because she ain't giving up just same as cynthia cynthia ain't giving that up honey they had to throw cynthia out in a nice way she saw it as a demotion but she would play her cards right i would say yeah i'll come in as a friend of the cast or the cast of the friend just keep my check coming how big how small we'll just make it work we'll make it do what it do then you give me that other thing on the girls ultimate trip where i can still perform as an og you know it's okay because i don't care but nobody say Cynthia was hurt. She was hurt, hurt, hurt. Oh my God! Oh, you can see the hurt in her hand because when she did some interview, or I don't forgot what um, outlet it was on, but she was like, "I had my peach in my hand and it was gone." I said, "Baby, I know. Forget that peach. You fuck that peach. You talking about that bread was gone, girl? That moolah, that money credits in the account, making that account go cha ching." boom you know what i'm saying so i guess noelle got a fan for herself so i hope she got her uh modeling thing on as well as her youtube channel i know she got most of her views and all that because she's associated with her mom and the franchise real housewives of atlanta because we're nobody on them about uh noelle noelle need to have her behind up in a college somewhere she might need to be rethinking this theory because being a, a influencer and this that and the third it could be lucrative but then you got to have some fallback so i would suggest no well you're going to get your education even if you have to go online to college okay it's legit trust and believe me i've done half of mine online okay just as long as it's reputable and that's all you need girl okay but anyway i just said that to say this okay I don't know what Claudia and uh, Shamara are talking about. <laughs> they are pretty much has been. Don't nobody want to see them on no big screen somewhere. So they need to stop fronting. They need to stop throwing salt where no salt was intended to be thrown on Phage's part. You know what I'm saying? Phage going to get hers. She got several degrees. Everybody like her. Especially on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. We forgave her from what she had put out there and Portia just took it on home for uh and then again it may not be too far off the mark allegedly but everything that's done in the dark will come to light surely rather than you uh know it okay but going back to the um article it said then mm -hmm. claudia said they may want to have us back if they want to bring the fire back if you want girls who can read then he continued but they will need help with ratings next season because I know he's been struggling. We just did a show, but maybe we can find time for another show. I said, no, nah, from the show I call myself researching. Y'all talking about that couples um, retreat, a couples thing where you go on, kind of like Ayanna Van Zant, where you go and talk about how your relationships are not going. <laughs> going well and what they can do with help uh professionals to help you guys out girl that ain't no show that ain't no show girl that's just um therapy on the tube is basically what you're giving us and you, you you're confessing this stuff that's not worth two hill of a beans that you really need to keep private and go on about your business and then i was trying to figure out okay that Medina guy, he's supposed to have been Phaedra's love interest. Well, she was on that uh, show. It kind of, probably was Couples Retreat as well. I don't know. But uh, I know I was trying to, I was thinking about showing it. Or I was thinking about reviewing it. But however, it didn't pan out because I only think they had it or they had pushed it back. And I had forgot all about it really is what had happened. <laughs> If you don't hold my attention too long, I'm going on to something else. This is how I am. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, yeah. And so, I was like, and then now, Claudia's supposed to be dating Medina. Uh, he's supposed to be some kind of, uh, maybe C-lettered actor. And maybe a B-lettered uh, uh, model. I, I don't know. But if both of them were fussing over the same man... It, it was like leave him in the dust okay because you ladies probably can do better but then again i don't know about claudia so she might need medina eat some medina or somebody like that look them up y'all you know what i'm talking about but yeah i'm like you can't even keep a man or a job on reality tv show claudia what are you talking about baby you were in la 
You ran from L.A. to Atlanta. They didn't want you in Atlanta. You had to run back to L.A. And you still ain't got nothing going on for yourself. Now, Shamari, if you didn't have Ronnie DeVoe, who's working his ass off with New Edition, trying to keep that afloat, and he's doing an amazing, amazing job at that. Because when Brother Don't Look Like He's Getting Old, like he's drinking from the fountain of you, and he still can move something, you know what I'm saying? And have a very personal, very blessed attitude. Every time he interviews or every time, you know, we see him in the media now when it comes to you girl you making everybody look like a fool i wish you sit down and be a nice housewife and and, and 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 i don't know what you need to do other than that take them uh spirits out your house meaning that alcohol that a, 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 alcohol take it on out okay go back to the kosher stuff and you'll be fine and stop hooking up with people like claudia jordan it's just not a cool look. It's not going to cause but a little chaos in your life. And I'm, I don't probably don't. I would bet to think. And I ain't no betting person. I don't think Ronnie DeVoe, your husband, like her too well. Because for one, she ain't got no man. So if she ain't got no man and she trying to always pick you up when you got a man. Okay. A married man. I think you need to stay clear of Claudia. So look at your surroundings, Shamari, before they become, you know chaotic for the negative hanging with this woman right here and shout out to the jasmine brand and the shade room very good vlogging entertainment sites for all your celebrity and gossip news make sure you check them out okay tell them Dev chanel to 48 world sent you on over okay and um let's go back to this it says fans also brought up Phaedra parts who is an who is another former cast star on the show and Claudia began to cast a shadow over Fer Ferdra by asking if she is still a lawyer and an undertaker and she repeatedly said win a case I'm like at least she can say she's an attorney whether or not she wins cases or not that's not the issue. That's something for her clients to be debating about. So if you're not going to become one of her clients, Claudia, keep your mouth shut, okay? Because it doesn't matter. At least she has that on her resume. What do you have? Seems like all your stuff is has-been stuff, okay? Then we're talking about her being a mortician. Girl, you need to check out how much a mortician can make, whether they're doing animal funerals or whether they're doing human funerals the money just keeps rolling in okay and both of them are reputable fields which what degree do you have crickets 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 exactly don't throw stones at a glass house that's all i got to say for Claudia Jordan, I'm going to dismiss Shamari because it seems like she hasn't grown up yet and ready to be in the adult pool. Okay, so we're just going to just give her a pass. But Claudia, no, we're going to keep pressing the gas on her until she go away into oblivion somewhere. Because reality TV is just not her thing. If she hadn't gotten it by now, I don't know what we're going to do to have to tell her anymore. Okay, we might just have to just mute her but anyway going back to the article um i'll let y'all listen to something okay shamari appeared on the show's 11th season like i thought and claudia was on the seventh season all righty as reported last week cynthia bailey had announced that she was leaving the show after 11 years and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And that probably was what brought them out and wanted to uh, let them have they say since it seems like. And it is, you know, it ain't allegedly major players have jumped ship. Okay, we don't have Portia anymore. We don't have Nene, but we might have Nene coming back to do a couple of episodes in season 14 to kind of wrap up Greg's uh, demise and all of that stuff and get some backstory on that one. Okay, but uh, let me see. We don't have Cynthia coming back. That's a blessing because uh, she's going to have to learn to keep her business Meaning her professional business career separate from her marriage. Because you don't see her dictating to Mark about what he needs to be doing and what he needs to stay from. No, I don't even think that's even a conversation they would ever have. Okay, because he would shut that shit down. Alright, but it, Cynthia hasn't learned yet. You know, Peter has 
definitely did some entertaining things. And no, we didn't agree everything what Peter had did to Cynthia. But, you know, it does happen in some marriages. And Cynthia did allow a lot because she didn't speak up. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but it seems like, you know, she's wanting Mike to take the helm on her as well. And who knows? Maybe Cynthia will get a clue and then maybe again she'll just go out in the abyss somewhere when how she started will ha will be how she ends it okay um so who else we had so we got cynthia gone we got portia gone nini was already not really on there uh, so we really don't have any heavy hitters but ken well ken's not a heavy hitter she's just taking up space but for the ogs Nobody's really left there. Marla got a peach to come on. Hopefully, she's going to give us something or she's going to be probably back a friend uh, of the show, which, you know, she's cool at doing. We would have wanted to see her get a peach, so I'm proud of Marlo. Hopefully, she can kind of keep things copacetic, uh, play with Kenya in a nice, nasty way until we can get uh, Kenya matched up with somebody that's going to make her um uh, give us what we've been getting every season since she's been on the show that aggressive passive you know um um what do you call it energy for lack of a better word that she can make the show ratings continue to stay at par and not dip on into uh i'm recaptured well now i'm but but what do you call it? We're making the ratings just go down even further. You know what I'm saying? Well, they just need to cancel the show. Just put a plug in it. It's done. But let's listen to some of the audio that we did have from the shade room that they had popped up and had put together for us. And this is more so Shamari and Claudia acting the nut. Oh, baby. <laughs> one season wonders. One, one and done, baby. <laughs> they, they might want to have us back if they want to bring the fire back. If they want to bring the fire right. back, baby. If you want ladies to read. Read? Down. Because she, oh, oh I don't you know. read down. Huh? You read. You read down. You did. I mean, I, I, like, I, I, I just, what? I was trying to take notes from you. Because I was like, if I go on this show, I can not. Oh, you fed up down. You let them come They tried it. They tried it. They tried it. They tried it. But you know what? If y'all need some help with the ratings for this next season, because I know it's been struggling. <laughs> we just did a show, but we can, we have may be able to find time for another show. Yes. And the uncut where are we top ramen see? noodles was my favorite. I just want yes. you to know that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, how that ending? Oh, the rate is the prices. Today's price is not yesterday's prices, so. though. So she was saying what they had paid her when she was on the show that the prices have increased. I'm like, girl, they ain't, they ain't checking for you. So you can keep those prices, bury them with your career pretty much. Because they're not checking for you, Claudia. And Shamari, I was very disappointed in you even teaming up to even try to shade the show or any other cast members. And especially Phaedra of all people. Girl, she was born in the South. You can't mess with the South, girl. Where you coming so from? Just come back and have her read with Phaedra. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh. Trust me, we will read oh, Phaedra. Is she still a lawyer or a mortician? <laughs> what is she doing now? I don't know, but guess what? 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 We're going to win a case. I'm going to win a case. They're going to say I'm messy. I'm going to win a case. She lost all of Bobby Brown's cases. <laughs> Okay, and that was it of the audio that the Shade Room had uh, put on their um, vlogging site of what Claudia was saying. Because she was the only one running her mouth for the negative. And, you know, Rachel did do some clap back. And hopefully I can find the uh, energy that she gave them back. And like I said, you can't really, you know, 
touch Shamari because she's just a baby. She don't know no better. And the the fact that she's raising two young boys. Um, ooh, I'm like, uh, Ronnie, is your mother around? Is your mother around to help your wife out? Because she's making a complete fool out of herself and she's laughing over something that's not laughable. Okay? Because, again, where is her degrees? Where is her exposure? Where is her class? Okay? But, yeah, that's all I think Shamar was doing was just laughing, laughing, laughing. And it wasn't funny. You know, I'm like, if you're going to read, if you're going to come with the fire, then come with some combat. Come with some, mm, if you're saying you want to be re rebooted 2.0, those two. I'm like, girl, Phaedra could probably blink, not even say anything. Her facial expression will have y'all sewed up. Okay, that's all I'm saying. But anyway, that's all I had of this particular video. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you like it, love it, gotta have more. Please don't hesitate but to share and like my videos. And if you care to, you can always subscribe. And then you'll um, be able to know when I drop down videos. Or you can hit that notification bell and it lets you know when I drop down a video. So you can rush on over here, view it, get your opinions. And put them down in those comments if you wanted to. Because I do get back with you all when I agree. Or when I disagree, I still give you a heart because it's your opinion. It's what you, what you got from the perspective of what I presented to you all. So y'all be blessed. And I will see y'all next video. Peace.